Going through second year, I liked all of the classes. They were all really interesting, but the last one was hematology, oncology, and I enjoyed that one most. And so when I was looking for a mentor, I was looking in that field, and I thought that Dr. Penninger's research sounded really interesting, and I think that it's, it combines immunology, which is really cool, with hematology. Dr. Benninger works with a type of immune cell called natural killer cells. They found a, a novel mechanism to make them have a, a property of memory, which is not something that they were thought to have before. So what we're trying to, to see is if these memory-like properties can make them more effective at, at fighting cancer. So we're working on cancer immunotherapy specifically with natural killer cells. All that we do in medicine uh, has a foundation in science. If we don't understand human health, then we don't understand human disease. And so it's incredibly important to understand the basics in order to then understand how you know, a treatment was designed or a disease uh, or, or certain elements of disease pathogenesis. Ideally, what I would like to do is be able to do research specifically in so, sort of find a niche within my clinic work and then be able to support what I'm doing with my research. So I think that immunology is kind of cool because it would lend itself well to that. So different diseases have sort of specific things that have gone wrong. So to be able to see most of your patients in that specific area, but also be trying to help them. So basically being able to treat people because you're seeing them and you're treating them directly, but also because you're discovering things that could help you know, all the people you don't see also. Mentoring a student is a lot of fun because it gives you a chance to really sit down and teach someone something that they've never been exposed to before. It's immensely rewarding to see someone's, to see that light bulb go off where someone really gets a concept and then moves on and then applies that to, to the next question.